we're down at Burryport this evening, um, which is a lovely little marina um, on the Welsh coast, not far from Swansea, Very from nice. South Wales. Yeah. And uh, we've come to review a Mary Fisher 695 Series 2. Oh yes. Um, Clive and Joe are the owners. Um, they've just been shown us round. Um, but we'd like to show you around now as well. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and so a big shout out to Clive and Joe because uh, it's very kind of them to let us look at their brand new Ooh, 695. It's all boat. shiny and brand new. It's fantastic. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So come along and uh, join us for a good old mooch around 695 Series 2. Ah, there so. we go. Lady Joe, of course. It had to be Lady Joe, named after Joe. Right, very, too. very appropriate. <laughs> very appropriate. And look, everything is looking fantastically clean and shiny. What and a shine uh, on it. Clive bought the boat from um, Cambrian Boats in Swansea, um, which is not actually very far away from here. And uh, you would have seen on one of our other films, um, another boat that we reviewed uh, that was owned by Cambrian Boats. Yeah, absolutely. And before we go on board, look, just have a look at this. There we go. There is a bit of the fabulous Burryport Marina. And yes, for those of you who may be eagle-eyed, a Mary Fisher 895 called Resi. <laughs> Yes. That's, yeah. that's, our, yes, that's our old boat just there. Look at that. Belongs to somebody she's come, else now. She's been to Conwy, she's come back to Swansea and now she's come to Burryport. Yeah. Fantastic. And of course, if you want to know anything more about Resi, then uh, there is a walkthrough of the 895 offshore on the channel as well. She's but <laughs> we digress, don't we? Digress. We digress. Let's go back. We digress because oh, this fabulous 695 series 2 is what we're going to show you today and look at that Clive has added a stack of little bits and pieces which we're looking forward to showing you of course these fender holders being just one of the many additions yeah, that Clive very neat actually, aren't they? absolutely very neat yeah like those Good storage for them but this is one squeaky shiny new 695 so the uh what uh, we certainly noticed having had the 795 and the 895 is that um when of course you add the second engine for the 895 what you lose is a fair bit of space on these swim platforms here at the back we've got a 150 yamaha on this uh, 695 and uh, we've got on this side obviously the swim ladder that uh, Nicky's uh, just down by there, which allows you to uh, get yourself on or off the boat, particularly if you've been having a nice dip um, out there in the fabulous Gower beaches and seas in here in South Wales. Um, but that just drops down, concertina's down, and uh, just stows into the little recess there on the bathing platform. Yeah, I just noticed it's got a little clip in here, which yeah. we didn't have on the 795 or 895. Yeah. But that's really handy. So you can just slot it in absolutely it keeps yeah. it steady yeah and then the handle here obviously nice chrome handle there that just allows you to pull yourself in as you're coming in from your uh, from your swim out in the fabulous south wales seas you can see as well that um clive has added a number of these um they are identical to the ones that we also got from good old amazon um rod holders there one on the sides there clive loves his fishing and has also put lots of these little extras around the boat here. At the back here as well, we've got one of those good old Jeannot that a lot of us will recognise. Um, your deck shower here, um, for as when you're coming in from your swim or if you just want to wash down things, you can see the tube there, good length of hose that comes with it and uh, you just fiddle it back in there and uh, closes away. But dead handy that, if you're coming in, in onto your swim platform, rinse off your seawater uh, and or rinse off fishing gear and God knows what, useful outside water source um, at the back here. And of course the way in as well for the boat, as you'll have seen there with this little door here, is in through this side, this swim platform. This piece here, if we just lift up that cushion there, you'll see that it's a removable cushion 
and you'll also see that uh, this piece here is uh, removable as well so it allows you this walkway in to the rear of the boat but of course when you're underway nice to have that extra extra area there with a cushion uh, it's a little small magnetic clip on the back there and then that just obviously slots into place and there's a bolt just here on the back which just allows you to secure it um, so really nice that and a nice little uh, bit of extra seating talking of which Clive opted for the uh, u-shaped seating here the uh, seating options for the Genoa's are, are similar in that you can have a rear bench seat or indeed you can then add on pieces both uh, to the side over there to the port side and or a seat here so we've in effect uh, Clive's created the full u-shaped seating here and also uh, got the uh, table as well that uh, is also an option with the boat. And do you know it feels really quite spacious in the back here on the 695? It does uh, yeah. I mean the engine's down and obviously the seat is pushed back. Yes um, we'll show you that in a minute. It does feel very comfortable and spacious. Yes yeah and compared with both well, I guess with both the 795 and the 895, we had that rear cockpit area, but you know, it doesn't, even though the 6 is the smaller boat, it actually doesn't feel that much different in terms of an outside seating no, area, does it? No, it doesn't, no, that's exactly what I thought. Yeah, really nice. So let's show you this, uh, how this seat um, just moves forward as well, because obviously when this fabulous Yamaha 150 um, is tilted up, then obviously it needs the space to be able to tilt up against uh, uh, to get a full tilt so that it lifts the uh, gear leg out of the water. So let's just show you how that seat works. Um, it's obviously a system of clips underneath here. Um, you see just, just here you've got these clips that work. So let's just get that one moved forward for you. So once you've released the little clips under there, then it's just a case of sliding everything forward like that. There we go, and you'll see now we've created that uh, huge well there, which gives you the ability then to uh, to lift up the engine. Okay, so now let's bring the engine up, and you can just see how that slots in nicely once it's up. I'll put some data up on the screen there for the uh, size and the weight of the engine, um, give you an idea of what this fabulous 150 weighs. The specification incidentally in a lot of the brochures talks about the 695 having a 170 litre fuel tank but this one in fact uh, is uh, that's actually for the European models this one has a 136 litre fuel tank um, and you can see there that lovely uh, stainless steel prop there um, that the yams have fitted to them And there we go, so that's with the seat forward, engine comes right up, just got that tiny bottom end of the gear leg just in the water here, mainly because uh, Nicky and I are both at the back of the boat, um, which is also obviously as to that uh, just dropping the back end of the engine down into the water, but, um, but only a tiny bit in the water once you've got the uh, engine fully lifted there. And here, of course, at the back here is our uh, is our fuel filler for that uh, 136 litre tank. And over on the port side, Clive has done one of his little additions, which I love. And yeah, you've guessed it. He's put in or adapted the storage here to be a little live well. As you can see already from the boat, Clive is a very keen fisherman, so his mackerel stay well and truly alive in here as he's fishing for the day and um, still well and truly alive when he gets back in. But uh, a great little addition, a really good ad adaptation of the storage, storage locker at the back there. You can of course see that uh, Cambrian Boats, Robin at Cambrian Boats, supplied uh, Lady Jo to Clive and uh, and obviously uh, if you have a look on the channel you'll see one or two of the other bits that we've uh, filmed from Cambrian Boats there in the dealership itself in uh, in Swansea. Right so of course hiding under some of these areas are storage so uh, let's give you an idea of uh, the storage options as well at the back here in the cockpit space. So under the uh, port side cushion 
you've got these little um, these little bits of where the straps go where you see the straps coming through there and then they hook just down into these um, which you can tighten these down then which holds your cushions firmly in place once you're underway but this first is the storage on the port side so really good size space there got uh, all uh, all nice cleaning bits and pieces in there and then similarly over this side we've also got another small storage area there again more of Clive's fishing bits and pieces but you can see there that it goes down pretty deep the full depth of the uh, the full depth of the uh, seating piece there so another really useful storage area there and of course look before we lift up the cockpit storage area I had to show you that as well look at that Lady Jo a personalised mat for this it's fabulous little 695. It's very important to have a mat. <laughs> this is the thing I love the most about yes. boats, is the mats. Yes. Very important. Mat, carpet, things to clean and tidy. So there you are with the um, cockpit locker lifted up. You don't actually have to take the table out of its uh, little post there, albeit it is very simple just to uh, just to slide the table top off there's no screws or attachments there it just uh, it's just held on and just slides onto the top of the pole there and then the storage area under here is again really generous and really uh, handy for all your bits and pieces and if i just move uh, clive's nets out the way you can see here one engine battery one house battery powering all the other bits and pieces um, that are tucked away and strapped on here in this uh, cockpit locker storage area. So we've just put the laser on the uh, laser measure on the width so from this edge to uh, this edge here to give you an idea of this size of the hatch there that's 886 millimeters and then if we just do the measurement across there Uh, by 744 millimeters so a good size uh, good size hatch there uh, helped obviously you uh, helped to lift it up with the gas struts each side and then on the top here the catch that secures it you can see there you've got uh, an ability just to uh, lock it securely so that's your cockpit uh, locker storage area and with the locker back down again now you can just see these bits here uh, just this this tube here just pushes into the uh, recess fitting there on the locker cover and similarly at the top here it's merely a push fit um, to uh, secure the table onto the top there so dead quick if you wanted to take the table out really quick to dismantle it and store it away if you wanted the extra space out the back here when you were fishing and uh, what have you. Uh, you'll also have spotted out the back here we've got our shore power inlet it is an option for the 695 to have shore power Clive's obviously gone for that here because of the, uh, one or two of the other systems which we'll show you as we work through the boat um, and then these as well I like these look at that and here's a very I, smart look here's one I prepared earlier <laughs> yes yeah and absolutely nice. um, so no very nifty those like those um, fold away neatly and uh, look very smart those and Clive's also had added underneath here a little USB socket there uh, underneath which you can just see there uh, outside as well you've got the um, touch lighting there just touch on the power symbol there and you get a dim a bright and then an off so uh, and there's one or two of them throughout the boat and then access up to the um, bow of the boat then you've got um, two walkways in effect uh, one on the starboard side here and then across this side a slightly narrow one this side only very marginally narrow on this side um, both obviously got the railings both got the railings up the side here and of course once you're up on the side then you've got the uh, roof bars up there which uh, you can obviously grab onto as you uh, make your way forward so um, obviously a handy step here which helps you get up on the side and of course also hiding under here under the step is you can just see in there is our gas bottle and 
midsection there you've got the uh, black water pump out and then we'll just a good grab handle here as you go up and then you can see these rails here along the side here really useful for grabbing onto as you're making your way up to the front um, these are also an optional extra these are your stand-up uh, paddleboard bars but uh, of course you could use it for one or two other things as well I'm sure inflatable kayak um, weight boards you name it uh, really sturdy fixtures as well they are so they will definitely take the weight of uh, of all those fun extra things that are used good great to have out on the water so up at the front of the 695 here there is an option uh, for a sun mattress here which uh, Clive hasn't gone for that option but I'll uh, get an image up there on the screen which should hopefully show you what that would look like if you went for that option um, and then you've obviously got the uh, small the uh, window opening there that goes down into the cabin below into the berth below um, windscreen wipers on the 695 are an option um, both starboard and port in fact so you can just opt for a, a single starboard windscreen wiper uh, or you can have them both um, so we've got them both fitted on this boat together with your uh, washer points just down there um, and the reservoir for the washers is just uh, down in the cabin there which we'll show you when we go inside um, so your opening vent here which is really nice and then of course this really good sized um, space up the front here for uh, the locker for the uh, anchor you can see those of you who know or have been looking at the 695 will know that um, the electric witness is an option um, it's got its remote control here uh, which is a fairly straightforward uh, up and down operation there isn't one on the 695 um, there isn't an option to have control of the anchor from the helm station but um, as uh, those of you who watch our channel will know um, we often deployed or when we were deploying the anchor then we always did it from up at the front here because you can get that really good vision then over the front and to see whether your anchor might be snagged on anything as it comes up um, and you just get a better feel for um, anchoring the boat or at least that's what we found anyway um, good size chain locker obviously there for your chain and rope uh, and the motor system underneath there you can just see it for the um, for the Lumar windlass if you wanted to find out a bit more about um, the anchoring process um, the Lumar setup then do have a look out on the channel for uh, for that film which uh, which we've done of the uh, anchoring process and how to safely anchor your boat uh, front as well you've got front uh, uh, cleats both starboard and port side and then at the rear there are no uh, there are no mid point cleats on this boat it's obviously a smaller boat smaller hull length and therefore not so important to have those midsection cleats um, you've got your navigation lights um, this side uh, and obviously on the port side as well at the front and let's just get this cover down again But that's a really good size in effect and you could you saw there that was also uh, some excess space there where you could keep fenders and the like or other bits and pieces and look at those fabulous new dock fenders there squeaky clean brand new another option uh, on the boat is obviously this uh, sunroof which Clive has gone for. Fantastic, isn't it? Fantastic it is, indeed. He uses it for his um, dinghy, which he uses as a little tent. Oh, on the bars, yes. Yeah, yeah very nice. And uh, yeah, sunroof, very nice to have. The 795 has them, the 895 has them, all a similar sort of setup. Um, but really nice to have that as an option. And then, as you can see here, just very slightly narrower there to come back down. Um, very doable, though. In fact, we'll head back that down that way. Um, to show you into the inside of the boat. And there, we've got some navigation lights and our, um, our VHF aerial light. Ah, somebody's just coming in there from a day's fishing. Fantastic. Okay, so let's have a look inside. So you'll see here as well, there are three piece doors. So in effect, you get a sort of extra wide opening once they're open, which is nice. Yeah, so you've got that slide there, really easy slide as well. Top and bottom runners there, which, uh, which carry the door. And then the first thing that we can see here 
as we make our way in is the uh, battery cutoffs there and the anchor cutoff as well. Um, Clive has opted for the carpets in here, so you can see there, just in the corners there, they're on little poppers. And they of course are hiding away some storage, which we'll just show you as we go through, because there's yet more storage in here, which is fantastic. So if we just lift up this carpet. <coughs> so there's our, there's our first, first storage space there. There's our... Um, windscreen washer res reserve um, and here you've got there that's your seawater intake for the uh, toilet which we'll show you in a minute and uh, then obviously that's the uh, black water dropout for uh, for your, uh, your alternative dropout for the black water I should say so if you weren't pumping out at the side there where we saw that valve then obviously a quick quarter turn on this uh, would then drop out the uh, contents of black water if you're out at sea for example and there's the second storage area. Clive's go bag and bits and pieces there. That good old Geno you know, brand new boat bag that uh, you'll know well from our uh, from our other films. And of course, hiding under there as well, you can just see the um, water pump there. That obviously um, provides you with the power for the uh, rear uh, shower that we showed you just on that swim platform there. And it also, of course, powers the um, pump to the uh, tap, which we'll show you in a sec. So again, more great storage. Storage absolutely everywhere. So now our carpet's back in place. We'll just show you a lovely little fridge as well. These isotherm fridges that, um, that are fitted here. Look at all those yummy things in here as well. Wow, a well-stocked fridge indeed. Oh yes, definitely. Bottle of wine, very nice too. Out on the water, on the Gower coast. What more could you want? But a bass and a mackerel, of course. <laughs> um, while we're still down here as well, you'll see this little recess here, and it's matched by another one this side. That takes um, a small metal bar, which then allows another piece to come across this area once you remove the table post here. And that then, of course, as you can work out, works as uh, another berth, another additional berth. And that's just get you some measurements on that so you can get a rough idea of the size of the uh, extra berth here okay so let's so uh, we'll have a look from this um, from the back of the seat here in effect across let's just get you that measurement so you can get a rough idea of what this second berth is like so 1.744 meters across to the um, glass sliding door frame there so that's a pretty good size and then in terms of width um, we can get it's round about yeah just coming up to a meter wide across there so a good size uh, second berth in effect that's in addition obviously to the area up at the uh, front of the boat here you'll see as well and that was measurement incidentally was obviously up to this piece because obviously behind this piece you'll see there's yet more storage there for yet more bits and pieces um, and you'll also have noticed here, um, which is an addition of Clive's, which is a really good idea. He's wired in here, this is a heater. It runs off the um, shore power. And so in winter particularly, then you can just introduce a little bit of heat into the uh, cabin space here, which then obviously stops those issues of cushions getting damp or condensation and things like that. So a really good idea that, and, uh, and sits there really neatly, I think. So that's a nice little addition to the boat there. We obviously used in our, as you probably have seen from our channel, or you remember from our channel, we used the Miko dehumidifier. Um, which did a similar sort of thing in taking moisture out of the atmosphere, but um, but no, a nice little, really nice little neat solution that is, and uh, and a job well done. Okay, and of course the seat here as well, a bit like the seven and the eight nine five, um, has the ability then to hinge across if you're underway and want that lovely view out the front here. Then the table you can spot the hinges here. The table just lifts up folds back just get Nicky to hang on to that for a minute and uh, and then this just lifts across here and into place so you've got a really nice a nice seating area up at the front here now when you're underway as a co-pilot if you like really nice view from out here 
what you'll also see now that we've lifted the seat into this uh, rear position is that of course it gives uh, it gives this area a lot more sort of a roomier feel um, and because uh, you haven't got this area here of seating which was sort of partly obstructing this lower berth area so uh, so now that that seat is back out of the way you've got a good space here which uh, let's get some measurements of that so you've got an idea of sort of how much how much room we've got under here so if we go from the uh, the sort of corner of the berth here across to that back wall there just over there where you can see the uh, the laser and measure that so that's coming in at about 2.158 meters so that's a really good size uh, over seven foot of space there of leg room in effect um, obviously the uh, there's a, another infill piece that uh, sits in here um, drops in onto this ledge just here so it provides that little cross piece here so you in effect you're sleeping or lying diagonally but at over seven foot you've got absolutely plenty of room there and uh, let's just do the width as well down here And the width across the back there so from this uh, this sort of side wall across to the back there behind the cushions there um, just under a meter so uh, that's a really good size um, a really good size little berth area under here really nicely decked out look at those lady joe cushions as well fantastic i'm loving the lady joe touches um, and also incidentally available on amazon amazon Look at these as well, fantastic hooks. Got a number of them that I've noticed Clive's fitted up. Really good, really solid adhesive hooks. Um, nice aluminium finish on those, like that little touch. Can never have enough storage and enough hooks. Fantastic. And then finally, where your feet would be when we were uh, um, looking out the front there then this yet again is another removable piece under there it goes right the way back obviously to the uh, to the other side of the boat there um, so that's yet more storage it's got a couple of little couple of little clips there you can see so you can actually take this piece out um, but look under there as well I can just get the camera in there look at that even more storage under there goes right the way back so that in effect that in effect is all this void under here which uh, which again Genoa have used to uh, provide even more storage so it's incredible in terms of the amount of storage that they've packed in here for a smaller 695 boat is absolutely brilliant loads of storage isn't there there is it is yeah. absolutely brilliant so on that piece there obviously there's another piece of cushion so if we just slip that cushion in there and then what we'll do we'll just get Nikki to very ably demonstrate the, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the forward berth in terms of uh, oh in terms of its size so Nikki's five foot seven this is amazing actually so I oh, know it is good size isn't it? Space, isn't it oh well and then lying so either that way yeah I'm feeling a bit too comfortable here. Just, uh, <laughs> night. So yes, either that way or just swing diagonally there because obviously we get this extra piece here which yes, sort of cuts yeah. the corner off. I mean if there was two so, of you, yes. you, you know, you, Absolutely you could easily. Absolutely loads, yes. There's loads of space. Yeah. So that's five foot seven feet, have still got room to go. And so yeah, definitely nice. uh, definitely a good sort of double berth that yeah. at the back, isn't yeah. it? Well, you can almost sit up. Um, you can yeah. sit up. Yeah. You can actually sit up. You have a bit more cushion space at the back. Yes, and you can see you there that uh, that Clive has got the uh, the little curtains across here, which just fit on tabs there. But you can see there with that open, lovely bit of light in here. The ability to vent it as well. Um, a really nice, really nice little cabin space, that isn't it? It is. Yeah, I like it. Very nice indeed. Lush. And of course. Uh, good old touch lighting in here got those different settings for it um, which gives plenty of light for the cabin really nice space that isn't it really it is, nice yeah, little space it is it's lovely. so much packed in to this lovely little 695 
Okay, so um, obviously what we also get is uh, a separate head. Um, we've got a uh, Jabsco uh, seawater pump toilet there. Then we've got your uh, fresh water, cold fresh water tap, little sink here with its plug. Really nice little touch that, soap dispenser, and then some more of those lovely hooks that Clive has added to the uh, inside here, and uh, a toilet roll holder as well. But um, a good size that, in fact, when I think back to our um, 795, then uh, it probably offers as much space as the uh, as the heads did in the 795. So both, uh, both obviously quite a tight fit, both not for standing in, probably a slightly more room in the 795 from a standing point of view and then obviously um, some power there so we can get some light on the scene but an excellent size that and a, another really useful space and obviously under there a little opening opening window there as well the panel obviously under uh, up here uh, that's removable or screws removable I should say not like the 8 or the 7 where you had the sort of drop down hatch here but of course under there is access to all your um, all your electronics for the uh, for the helm station that sits up above just here and with this one central cushion taken out we can just then get this piece up and then what we got here is another little hatch which if I open that one up and show you down in there you'll see that um, Clive has gone for the bow thruster option, which is, of course, very useful. Um, that's where the bow thruster sits, but you can also see here is yet another void um, that could be used for a little bit of extra storage. But a useful option, the bow thruster on here, it is an option for these boats, um, but obviously gives you that tremendous uh, manoeuvrability, particularly when you're in a tidal marina like this and you've got some good currents flowing. It gives you that extra little bit of help to get you, uh, to get you moored up at slow speed. What of course you can do as well with this uh, with this central piece out is that lift lifts out there and there so we've now got uh, we've now taken out the berth in effect and we've got a little u-shaped seating area down in the cabin here which is uh, which is really nice as well so yet more uh, more adaptability from this uh, from this great little boat so up at the helm station um, you can see straight away that uh, Clive has opted for Lowrance uh, equipment here. Now Garmin are generally the standard fit for uh, for the Mary Fisher range but um, Clive opted out completely of the Garmin. Um, he was um, a previous boat owner of uh, Lowrance equipment and therefore knew it well uh, and was very much used to using it so opted here you'll see actually for a 12 inch Lowrance screen. Um, now I know on the standard Mary Fisher 695 uh, you get a 7 inch plotter with an option to upgrade to a 9 so it shows you here that you can actually get a full 12 inch size in here which is absolutely fantastic really good use of the space here and the um, and the options you've got um, and that obviously goes with your Yamaha control with the Fusion radio here on the Series 2, slightly upgraded version you'll see there with the um, Fusion radio from uh, some of our previous walkthroughs that we've done. Just upgraded things for this uh, for this Series 2 model. Uh, as have Yamaha here with the uh, control system for the uh, for the one, 150 on the back there. And then working our way down, you obviously got our bow thruster control there. Really useful option that. Clive has uh, added himself uh, a phone holder there um, and then you've got your uh, USB sockets there you've got another little 12 volt socket in here in there you've got your engine start stop there and then again you can see that rather than the uh, Garmin 215 radio um, Clive has obviously got the Lowrance fitted there which obviously uh, integrates really well with the uh, 12 inch Lowrance plotter there which is the uh, incidentally is the HDS 12 uh, plotter. Um, the, it's fly by wire controls for that Yamaha 150 on the back. Um, you'll see that it's obviously got the uh, up and down that's the uh, up and down for the engine lift and then you can see as well that it's got um, a little additional uh, feature there called the trim assist um, and that, what that does is, because the 695 doesn't have 
or this one doesn't have and indeed as standard it doesn't have trim tabs fitted then uh, because obviously it's a shorter craft um, then uh, it does give you an ability um, to program the Yamaha control unit to work with the trim assist here and then what it does in effect it just lifts the engine up and down slightly as you're speeding up and just helps to uh, get the boat on the plane a little bit quicker so it's uh, it's a bit like trim tabs it's Yamaha's own trim assist um, and uh, and works well in the absence of trim tabs themselves uh, down here obviously you've got your fairly standard controls you've got the two additional windscreen switches as we remember that uh, Clive went for those options, port and starboard windscreen wipers, the washers, we've seen the reservoir under us, um, got your navigation lights, got your uh, power switches for things like your radio and bits and bobs like that, water pump, and there obviously uh, your bilge pump switch there. Uh, the seat again, similar to some of those other Genoa seats we've seen, so at the moment you've got it in that standing position where you can lean against this bit, um, or of course it just hinges down and then uh, you've got it in its full seating mode if you wanted to uh, be sat out watching the world go by in your 695. Fantastic. That's the seat and the seat also as well, which Nikki will hopefully show us here. The seat also just tips forward and the reason it does is because it just now gives us access, better access should I say, to what is in effect a little work surface area for your galley unit which is uh, which is here. Um, we've got a cover here for a sink there. Um, you can see that's a really good, you can hear the uh, water pump cutting in, false water pump. Um, it's got a really good water pressure there and you get similar on the uh, shower at the back of the boat as well. Um, so that pump does its job really well. Um, but with the lid on here, it gives you uh, an extra work surface, extra preparation area. And you can see as well here that uh, you've got a good little cubby holes here for all your bits and pieces, additional drinks holder. And oh, what a fantastic kettle that is, isn't it? Look at that. A Wooden thing bit. of beauty that oh my is, goodness. yeah. Like what a lovely that. addition. Yeah, like in that. Um, and single burner here, which of course would be perfect for getting yourself a brew while you're waiting for those fabulous South Wales bass to take to your line. So and that just that seat just clips in under there. There we go. That's back in place and then finally I think the last bit that I'm going to show you inside here just a little bit of space there some extremely important Haribo you'll notice there which are <laughs> which of course never go anywhere without a Haribo but um, good storage in here Clive has added a shelf here you can see which I certainly remember from our 8 and 795 uh, you had this big space here without any interim shelf here so that's a really good little addition I like that a lot uh, and it means in effect you're doubled up on space there plenty of room for loads of bits and pieces in there uh, and of course at the back there you can see some of the pipe work and fresh water pipe work going down the back there but uh, yeah another really useful little addition and um, and something which uh, which is fairly straightforward to do but certainly increases the space you get in your cupboards and of course up at the front here standard feature as well on many of Mary Fisher uh, Plastimo compass there Look at that evening sun though, folks. Isn't that lovely? Coming in through your side window there. Of course, sliding window. Look at that. A cracking evening in Burryport, South Wales. Isn't it? Gorgeous. And just like all the other merry fishes, you get fantastic views all around, don't you, with these windows? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. They are great for uh, yeah. letting the light in and letting you see the views around you. It's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, some really good sort of panoramic views. Lovely. And you'll also see another Clive edition. Look at that. What a great little edition that is. Tethered to the phone, streaming a bit of a bit of TV, whatever else. Fantastic little addition that to the cabin. And obviously up the top here, there's your uh, speakers 
important starboard side for that fusion radio that we saw um, up on the helm there. Really nice. Oh look, another little gadget there as well. Nice little magnetic, magnetic strip light there, rechargeable. Very nice too. Uh, you'll see as well, of course, from a cabin point of view, that all these little notches here, these little points here working along, um, are um, fitting points for the curtains. The curtains draw out and then they hook onto these little pieces at the front. You'll see there's more around here as well, which uh, can allow you to have a curtain over the berth area there. And then similarly again, more of these little button fixtures which allow you to peg the curtains closed as and when you need a bit more privacy. And a little grab handle at the front there, a couple of extra little drinks containers, little storage area here. Really nice, really nice, compact, everything packed in you can need and a very nice little interior cabin space. Don't you think so? I do. And apart from your emergency exit here, and of course, here, there's also one here. Of course, there's that from the inside. We saw it from the outside, but that's just a lift up and then it just slides back. You can, uh, you can lock it in place anywhere you want. You've obviously got these little notches there and there, which allow you to just vent it slightly if you want, or indeed all the way back. It drops in there, seals tight shut. Very nice too, look at that light. So that was the inside. What a fantastic boat this little 695 Series 2 is, isn't it? It is. It's amazing actually it how is. much you can pack into a little boat. Yeah. And um, I say little, it's not that little. No, no, it's like a TARDIS, isn't it? Of yeah. course, um, we'll have put the uh, dimensions and all those sort of bits and pieces up on the screen for you hopefully by now. But as Nikki says, not that small at all. Um, but uh, just a lot packed in, isn't it? Absolutely loads yeah. packed in. Yeah. Loads indeed. And lots of space out here as well, in, as well as inside. Yeah, let's give you one last, one last look out here. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, really, really nice that. Well, a massive thank you to Clive and Joe for letting us and you um, see uh, every little nook and cranny of the 695 Series 2. I think you'll agree uh, an absolutely fabulous. Absolutely yeah. amazing, yeah. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah. They should be very proud of it. It's um, absolutely lovely. Yeah. Um, supplied by Robin, of course, at Cambrian Boats. So um, check out our other films from Cambrian Boats as well. It's been really good having you along again, guys. Um, thanks ever so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please think about subscribing. It doesn't cost you a penny. And we've loved having you along. Until the next time. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. See you very soon, folks. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Take thank care. You. Bye now. Bye.